Last year, many in the boxing world were surprised when then undefeated and largely unheralded American Rob Brandt was tapped to participate in the World Boxing Super Series Super Middleweight Tournament. The move was even more surprising considering the tourney's lone American had been competing as a middleweight and even secured a lofty ranking with the WBA. But despite all of his previous legwork at middleweight, Brand jumped at the chance to take on some of the world's best at 168 pounds. But Brand's lopsided opening round tourney loss to two-time light heavyweight world champ Jurgen Bramer demonstrated that, for now, middleweight is where he really belongs. A subsequent comprehensive beatdown of anonymous Colby Quarter back at 160 re-established Brand's place atop the WBA middleweight rankings and secured him a mandated crack at reigning WBA regular champ and 2012 Olympic gold medalist Ryuta Murata, a man Brand feels brings a unique but beatable style to the ring. Uh, but what I look at, he's a, he's a very, very powerful one-two punch. You know, he, he'll utilize the left hook to the body if you're a stationary target and you decide to shell up. But he's uh, he's extremely accurate, straight shots, not very creative, but he is uh, extremely talented. You know, you don't get an Olympic gold medal uh, for being mediocre. So that has to be looked into account when it comes into the, the training uh, for, for Murata himself. But I have a, a whole lot of respect for him as, a, as an athlete. But uh, again, I, I see a lot of uh, areas in which he, he's lacking in terms of his just overall uh, selection of punches that he, that he uses. You know, he, he's going to have a little bit of a tough time. And while many might scoff at the notion of Brandt being a middleweight world champ, they'd be selling the wrong man short. If Brandt can turn the Bramer defeat into a teachable moment and return with a newfound in-ring maturity that sees him diversify his strong, fast, and agile skill set that already has him light on his feet and heavy with his fists, he'll transform from the misguided fighter looking for a weight to call home to a seat at the head of the 160-pound table.